I'm not quite sure what just happened, but my phone went off. <laughs> so it's just really, really weird. My phone went off and, and this has never happened before, but this is a separate video where I'm going into the reading. I'm about to choose the themes, the three different themes for this, for each, uh, for, for what our soul's mission is. So I don't know what happened, but, uh, if you are listening to this presentation for the first time, I want to welcome you to Peace Lily Tarot. <laughs> It, and this was supposed to be a whole reading in and of itself, but the and it cut at just the right time, which is remarkable. But anyhow, I'm about to pull from the Light Seer's Tarot deck. So if you can see right here, I think I, yeah, here we go. The Light Seer's Tarot deck. I am using the Major Arcana uh, from the Light Seer's Tarot deck. And I am going to choose three cards. Each card, this is a pick a card, and each card will represent a theme associated with what our soul's mission is. Well, for those of you who picked the card, that is uh, the theme of your soul's mission. That isn't to say, too, I guess I should say this, that our, our soul's mission is, can be also be multi-layered. But the theme, you know, if you're drawn to a particular theme, then it is definitely going to give you a piece of the puzzle and helping you figure this out is what I want to say. Okay, so I'm going to pick three cards from the Major Arcana, from the Light Seer's Tarot, and each card will represent a theme. You pick one that you're drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one, that's fine. You're drawn to all of them. That's great. All right, so let's see. The first theme and this is a general reading for the collective to give us some insight to get us started at least getting a sense of what in the world why are we even here to begin with <laughs> okay all right so let's see first card all right here's one all right and for those of you I don't you to think I'm you know there's no funny business going on right but it's the way I'm sitting, so, okay. One more. One more, I can't believe my recording just stopped like that. Unless I reached a max, of, ooh, okay. This is the third one, all right. So let's turn these around. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, you know what? This is not even a major arcana card. I know how this got in the mix, but I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> it's going to be one of the themes. Ooh, look at this. All right. Okay. I want you to look. Let me make sure everybody can see these. I'm going to pull this down because there's like a glare. All right. So here are the three themes for your life's purpose. So I want you to meditate a bit. Some of you may have been drawn to whatever card it is that um, you know you might be drawn to, whichever comes like right out at you, um, that one that you resonate with. Uh, that's the one for you. If you need a little bit more time, you can pause this video until you figure it out. <laughs> okay. Isn't this interesting how this ended up in my major arcana pile? I don't know how I didn't see that, but a, it, it, obviously it belongs there. So I'm just going to leave it. All right. Okay. So I'm going to put these two to the side and I'm going to start with the Knight of Cups, right? So let me, I'm just going to, I need to, I don't, do I have my glasses? I don't know if I, I don't have my glasses with me. So I'm going to have to pull this up a bit and just look at it. So I'm going to tell you what's coming out for me just by looking at this card. The first thing I thought about was love and relationships. Um, the pink 
colors, the flowers in the cards. Um, I believe those are roses. Uh, I'm looking at a picnic. There's a horse in the back. Uh, so this is a theme of love and relationships. So whoever picked this card, your journey on this planet, this is, in other words, this is how your compass is pointing north, right? Has to do with love, has to do with relationships. Um, I would say too, has to do with communication perhaps. Um, movement, travel, um, but, but what immediately came to me was relationships. Uh, not necessarily romantic, could be platonic. And I'm thinking about love. I'm getting, when I see the pink, pink color, I think of love. Um, When I see the horse in the background, I get it. But now I see the horse in the background, but I also see this young man sitting on the chair. So maybe it doesn't have to do with travel. Maybe at one point it could be like your past life. You may have been traveling a great deal, but in this instance, you are being asked to plant yourself in a community and be a little bit more stable, which is a which which is a possibility here. So anyway, that is what's coming up for me initially. Initially coming up for me for this card. Uh, so I'm now I'm going to ask Tarot for some more information. So the first card that I want to, or the first piece of information that I want to get for this reading is. What is your strength regarding your soul's mission? So in other words, what strength do you already possess? So I'm using the Rider Waite deck. What strength do you already possess that's going to help you achieve your soul's mission? Okay. What is your strength? Okay, so this card. Let's see what comes out. Very interesting. Uh, this is this is so so we've got horse we've got a boat so what is your strength here so i believe that your strength is, and there are multiple messages i'm getting here um your strength is logic uh you are goal oriented uh, you know how to, what I'm getting here to your strength is, I believe even if you don't know what your soul's mission is, you are heading north. You are heading more north than you're heading south. Uh, I, but your strength, and, and that is really essentially your strength. Um, the uh, your other the other message that I'm getting from this is is that another strength of yours is that you have people around you who are there to help. You have a support system. Uh, you always, whenever you're in trouble, you get the help that you need. So there are multiple ways that you are strong. Um, in in a, you know, it, when it comes to your soul's mission. It could also be that you are also a support to other people. So remember here in this card, I said, I, you know, when I first saw the card, I got the uh, energy of love. Uh, I've got the energy of relationships. Um, bringing people together in a community, being stable, right? I remember, and it's so funny, I said that it doesn't look like you're gonna be doing a lot of movement, that you're being called to kind of stay in one place for a little longer. It could be 
the other thing I'd like to say too about this card, which is coming up for me, another strength of yours is that you persevere under some of the most severe of circumstances. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yes. So that is a strength of yours. All right, so the second card is going to reflect a lesson that you already learned or you or something that you've already overcome. So what is a lesson that you already learned? What's a lesson that the people who picked this card already learned? This could also be what they came into the world already had learned, you know, and you might not even realize that you learned the lesson already, but this is a lesson that you've learned. So what lesson has been learned already? Ooh, look at that. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so what I get from this card is and this is a very earthy card. Uh, it's a card of material blessings. Um, you can look at the card, uh, look at the colors, look at how everything's flourishing. There's a rabbit, fertility. Um, so the lessons that you've already learned, uh, perhaps you've been a mom uh, or, or, or a motherly figure of some sort uh, in, in in the past, uh, and remember, we're talking past lives. So you you have, uh, so you're so if this is a lesson that you've learned already, that means that you are comfortable in this position. You're comfortable in a motherly, uh, being in a motherly role. You do not experience a lot of lack. Uh, in the past, you come from a place of means in your past life and so you are comfortable in being uh surrounded by some luxury uh you may have even been have been a leader at one point uh this is a card of stability so the lesson that you've already learned is how to live a life where your needs are are always met uh, you have also been a hard worker. Um, just so all of those lessons that you've learned and overcome, uh, it could also mean that, that you may have been in a situation where there was lack and you learned how to work your way through that and to achieve uh, financial wealth, which is a possibility. I'm just looking more at this card um just to see what else is coming to me here uh with the with the queen of pentacles but yeah this is so you're not coming from a place where you struggled um you are coming from a place of high status perhaps uh those are lessons that you learn so uh, I want you to be thinking about, and this is why I think it would be very interesting if you do know the time that you were born to kind of go and, you know, and it'll be interesting to know what your north and south nodes are. But uh, that is what you already came knowing. Like that is at your, you know, you, even if, I'll even say this too. Let's say you all, you're, let's say you live a life where you struggle right now right and maybe you're saying well that doesn't make any sense to me because i always have problems you know with finances or you know i always have a hard time moving up the ladder you know, you know i want to be promoted in my job or um whatever the case may be uh, oh the other thing i want to say is before i lose it before it falls away from me and i don't say it you're also very comfortable in traditional role. You, you came in, to, let's just, the lesson that you learned is how to be, uh, 
how to be part of traditions, to be in a traditional role. So again, if you said to me, oh, well, I don't understand that because I grew up in a, a family that, you know, struggled <coughs> financially and although I'm better off than they were, I'm kind of not, you know, that, that doesn't seem to represent me. Well, we're talking about your past life, but knowing that this was a lesson that you learned, this means that these qualities are at your disposal. You don't, and now that you know that these qualities are at your disposal, the question is, <laughs> what are you forgetting that can help dig you out of that, right? And this card here is the key to how to get these two working together, if that makes any sense, right? Um, this card to the, the Knight of Cups, I guess I should say, your mission is more heart-centered. Uh, your job, so I will say this, which is very interesting about how this came up with your strength. You are very comfortable in the mental realm, but not as comfortable in the emotional realm, but that is what is going to help you. But your mission, your soul's purpose is connected to the emotional realm. You see how that kind of, remember what, remember when I was talking about the North and South nodes and I said, the South node is where you are most comfortable, which would be here, right? And your north node is where you'd be most uncomfortable. And this is your strength, right? Your strength is where you are most comfortable, right? In the mental realm, right? But you're also comfortable in the material realm. If you're not, then just so you know that, that you did that somewhere in you, you have this. And your job is to kind of unlock that and figure out how to get these kind of all going together. I, I love when this happens because that makes so much sense to me. All right, the next card is, what is a major obstacle hindering you? So what is, oh, taking the wrong deck. <laughs> what is keeping you from knowing what your life's purpose is or what's hindering you from achieving your life's purpose or being, or should I say, what is hindering you from moving northward in your soul's journey? What is a major obstacle that is hindering you? Okay, here's, look, look at this. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Okay, so this is, I mean, what's coming right out to me here, your obstacle is change. You're having a hard time dealing with change. And I know this seems like the obvious, right? Because many people don't do well with change. <laughs> but this is what's hindering you, not wanting to change, right? You live very much in your mind. You're very logical, right? And your job to achieve your life's mission is to embrace the emotional realm, to embrace the heart. You need more love in your life. Uh, for those of you that are into the chakras and understanding the chakra system, we're talking the heart chakra here. Uh, you are very much living in your head. You're very comfortable with the logical, rational side of life and not as comfortable in the emotional side and change is very difficult for you, especially when it comes to personal uh, relationships or when it comes to anything dealing with the emotions uh, is what I'm, what I'm getting here. Uh, how can you overcome what's hindering you? What's going to help you embrace this part of yourself so that you can achieve your life's work because whatever and, and this is actually the key to your 
to being satisfied in life. You might be comfortable here. Let me make sure that, yeah, okay. I just want to make sure you can see and get that glare out of the way. You're comfortable here, right? But this is where you, this is the way you're gonna grow. And, and, and you're going to surprise yourself that you're gonna live a life that's more satisfying once you can grow and develop and become more comfortable in this realm. But your obstacle is, is change altogether, I see here. So how can this person uh, overcome this obstacle? What, what, what are some things they can do in addition to what I already said? <laughs> or whatever the, or what the cards are already telling us, okay? So again, there's no funny stuff going on. I am uh, shuffling these cards. What, okay, look at that, interesting. Okay, so it's very interesting that the moon card would pop out in this spot. Um, when we are talking about the logical and the rational, it kind of reminds me of the scientific method, right? If there is no evidence, then it's not real, right? It's not true. But when we are talking about the emotional realm, when we're talking about relationships with people and living, trying to understand the world through our hearts, it isn't always so obvious. And so the moon card in this position, which is again, how can you overcome it, is to develop your intuitive abilities and also learning how to be okay with uh, aspects of our lives that are not always uh, clear, I guess I should say, um, that isn't always black and white. Emotions and relationships and heart-related issues with people can be very messy. Um, and so I can see how all of this works together. Um, that is an area that you're going to need to learn how this is this is going to be the key to helping you overcome this so that you can develop this more in your life this is going to help with this but this is achieve your mission remember this card is related to your life's mission so your life's mission definitely involves love involves the heart involves the development of your emotions and becoming comfortable in heart-centered related work. This could also mean, so I'm bringing up career now, right? And this doesn't necessarily have to be related to you, but you might find that the very type of job that you would say, oh my gosh, I don't think that's something I'd wanna do Right, you know, may it may even be that you're in the right job, you know, your earthly job, but if you are having, if you can't seem to find, if you can't seem to ground yourself, whether it be in your home or whether it be at your job or wherever in your community, it could be that it's not that you're not in the right place but your compass is off. And if your compass is off, then you're not gonna feel like you're, you're not gonna feel like you're, you're not gonna feel satisfied. I mean, think about, just to give an example, an analogy, you, and for those of you who don't go camping, but I want you to imagine what it feels like when you lose your way, right? What does it feel like when you are driving in a 
you know, in a neighborhood that you're not familiar with, or you get off on the wrong exit and you're like, holy cow, now where are we? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, that's kind of how you feel when you are not pointing north. And when I mean pointing north, symbolically, when you're going in the right direction. It could be a matter of your approach. And if this is how you are used to approaching the world, and especially in a work situation, right? Because I want to bring up work because our careers oftentimes take up most of you know our lives. But if 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 you're if you if just like do an experiment, right? And figure out, hey, um, this is this is what I know to do, right? I can only have confidence in the things that I can see, that I can hear, that I can taste, I can touch, etc. But this is what's going to help you achieve your life's mission. Not only achieve your life's mission, but it's also going to enable you to feel a sense of satisfaction and groundedness where, where whatever it is that you're doing in life, right? That's when you know that the South and North Node qualities are coming together to work for your benefit and the benefit of, you know, whoever the people are that you're serving, moving from the mind and from the heart, but actually figuring out how these two can actually, how do you combine those two together? That is going to be the key to you living a more satisfying uh, life is looking at the heart, right? And this is what's going to help you overcome this so that you can get to this. That's not saying that you completely disregard this. This is the part of you that's overdeveloped. This is the part of you that's underdeveloped and you've got to figure out a way to balance these two, if that makes any sense. So now I'm going to consult the animal oracle. We want to know which animal, spirit animal, will could prove to be most helpful to us in achieving, discovering our life's purpose, but also achieving it. Who could be helpful? Reveal yourself to us. Who, oh, okay. Ooh, look, <laughs> look at this. This is, this, oh, I love when this happens. Look at the card that popped up. The bee, spirit animal, community. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. Look at that. And look at this. You are the queen of abundance. This is what you already, look at that. This is what you already have. And if you don't know it, you need to figure that out, right? This is beautiful. <laughs> this is so you want to call on your bee. So bee, the bee, the, hun the honey bee, is your totem animal. You may or may not have already known that, but if you did not know that, you know it now. But did you see this community? Remember I said here about how the key, the theme of your um, life's purpose, your soul's purpose is, is heart related, people related. I said, this has to do with relationships right? I said that you need to stay stabilized, that you may have been in a place where there was a lot of movement in your past life. And you may even be that way now where you're moving all over the place, or you, you know, you've been in a lot of different places. And your job is to settle. Uh, if this has to do with the job, your job here is to find a community where you can kind of settle into and stay for a little while, right? where you've been used to kind of 
you know, jumping from place to place, it's now time to settle down a bit. And I love the message here. You are a powerful creator. Notice too that bees do not work in isolation. Um, bees are, are, are work as a community, right? <laughs> They're social animals, bees. And that is the part that, you know, so that is, this, this is, so this spirit animal is a confirmation of what it is that is related to your, your, your soul's mission. Another thing that came up to me, a thought that came up to me here, another in, one of those intuitive pokes. You may also be one of those people where you work comfortably alone. So in order for you to achieve your soul's mission, you may not even realize it yet. But your comfort zone may not be in work, you know, working in groups or in teams or for the benefit of the whole, uh, and and using a more of a heart-centered approach when it comes to your life's uh, your your destiny, essentially. So you're gonna find the most satisfaction in your life through the heart and with people in a community. I love when readings turn out like this. <laughs> it's so beautiful. So this is the reading uh, for those of you, this is your soul. So if you had the question, what is my life's purpose? This is, this is going to help get you started. And so if this was helpful to you, please subscribe to this channel. This, I don't get paid for doing these general readings, but I would like as many people as possible to be blessed by these messages, especially we live in a world, especially coming out of this pandemic. I, we still have many out there who are still like in a state of disillusionment regarding like what just happened in the last couple of years. And so if I can help in any way in helping get people to understand how to read their compass and where their compass should be pointing, I think that it could get a lot of people motivated to, um, to move forward and to be on a path to living a more satisfying, satisfying purposeful life. So, so yes, subscribe, click the bell if you want alerts whenever I post a video. And I invite you to, to add comments. Uh, let me know how this resonated with you. Also remember my mission for this channel is reading, teaching, and learning tarot. So for those of you who wanting, want to learn how to read tarot or you are beginners, you could also be seasoned. What do you get from these cards? Do, do, you know, if you have anything to add, anything that you picked up while I was doing this reading, please, I invite you to share because this is where we learn. We are a community. So again, thank you for visiting Peace Lily, Lily Tarot. And now I'm going to go to the next theme. This, I'm going to put this over here. Okay. back into the fold, shuffle these cards, mix them up nicely, and then we are going to move on to, so for those of you who chose the world as their theme, as there's, that is, that card is connected to your soul's mission. So, the world card. Your job, so I, this is very interesting. So the world card, notice how there's a circle, right? So this tells me that you are definitely protected without a doubt here. Um, it's also telling me that you are here to complete a cycle. So which you started 
long ago. Some people get new assignments, souls, some souls that come into this earthly realm get new assignments, assignments that they've never had before. And it's like, they're, you know, it's like they're brand new, right? They get new assignments because they, for whatever reason. This is not the case for the people who chose this card. You have had this assignment for quite some time and you are going, this is going to be the time, this earthly life that you have here is going to be the completion of this journey that you've been on for, I don't know, I don't know, hundreds of years, maybe millennia, I'm not sure. <laughs> when you're here to complete a mission, uh, complete something that started a long time ago, but again, you are protected without a doubt. I'm gonna see if there's anything else that I can pick up here. Um, yeah, I, I, I see it's very interesting too. Um, I see like a lot of the chakra colors uh, and I'm looking at the colors in, this, in the dress. Uh, I'm looking at the colors and the colors are very important too. So we're talking about um, a lot of heart work, but also a lot of communication because I'm getting the blue, you know, with the throat chakra. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that you may even already, I'm also getting that you are aware, if not on a conscious level, on a subconscious level, you are aware of what your mission is, is what I'm getting from this world card. Uh, there also may be a, a global aspect to this. It may or may not, uh, but there could be. So you may be a person that will be instrumental in bringing different kinds of people together. Could be from different cultures. You could be working maybe, uh, or maybe if not working, interacting in an environment where there, there's a diverse group of, of individuals. But definitely you are doing a work that's coming to completion, which I think is interesting because I'm looking at these chakra colors, the colors of the rainbow in this um, woman's dress but I'm also seeing the light. If you can notice, uh, there is a connection uh, between her, you know, her heart, her crown chakra, and then of course, a connection to the universe. So whoever chose this card, the people who chose this card, you are very much connected to spirit. You are protected and you are coming to the completion of a work that you've been doing for, I don't know, for ages really, which is um, very, very, ex very exciting. Uh, anyhow, um, so the first card, so we have your theme here for your soul's mission. This is your north node. And then I want to find out what is, what is the strength for the people who chose this card? What is your strength? What is your strength? What is your strength? What do you got go What do you have going for you, whether you realize it or not? What is your strength? What is your strength? What is your strength? Ah, okay. So you are, what I get from this is, you are a mediator of some sort. You are very good at helping people work through their conflicts and problems. I, I, I'm seeing this, definitely. Um, you have a gift of being able to um, bring people to the table. You have a gift, a strength, 
in helping people resolve conflicts. I'm picking that up. Some of you may even be in the legal profession, but you don't necessarily have to be. Um, but I do, I am getting a sense of mediation here. I'm picking it up that there is some aspect of that. It could even be, and I, I don't want you to think that this has to be like, oh my gosh, you're going to, you know, maybe this person's supposed to be a judge and, you know, it, or they're a lawyer or, I mean, even though that is possible, but you could also be one of those people, you know, if you look back at your childhood, you may have been, or even, you know, jobs that you've had, uh, maybe even within your own family, you are the person that is, you know, that's really, really good at getting people to resolve their issues or get people to work together harmoniously. That is a strength I'm picking up from the justice card. All right. What is the lesson you already learned or you already overcame? So this is a lesson that you learn. Uh, an important lesson you learned from your previous lives. You came into the world having learned this lesson already. And again, you may or may not be, oops, whoa, okay. You may or may not be aware, okay, this is coming up for me. Okay. So we've got the three of pentacles here. Interesting. So the lessons that you've already learned. So you've already been in a place where not only you know how to offer help, but you also know how to receive help. You've, all, you've already learned the lesson on how to contribute, contribute your gifts and skills for a greater purpose. So I'm picking that up as uh, being in your past life, which is very interesting. Um, Another thing I'm picking up here, a lesson that you learned. Now this is actually, now that this is beginning to make sense to me, you also in your past life worked autonomously. Does that make autonomous? So you were autonomous. You did a lot of uh, work in isolation, uh, You which is very interesting because this is your this is where you're comfortable right where you learn the lesson already so it could mean that you work so you're another person that works well uh, alone um but in the case here your north node is asking you to you are actually going to be instrumental in working with lots of different kinds of people, which is a possibility. Um, that is a possibility with this card here. Uh, helping people solve conflicts, which will require you to kind of get out there and be among the people. Uh, whereas in this case, you may have worked on your own. Uh, maybe not, um, and I'm saying work because I'm looking at the pentacles here. I'm getting, I'm picking up work. Uh, but this is what you already came into the work, uh, being, came into the world. Um, you may even, maybe you had your own business in the past. Maybe you have a really good business sense you came into the world with. You learned, again, this is South Node, past life experiences. You may have been very instrumental in the community. Uh, you may have done work. I, it's very, what I'm picking up here too is, uh, and it, you've had many lives, but you also um, come in with, be, you are self-sufficient. That's what I'm also picking up. 
from this card. So there might be some people out there that are very self-sufficient, self-reliant, uh, very used to depending on themselves and maybe other people depending on you, right? Whereas your North Node, your, your life's mission is asking you to kind of come from outside of this, you know, this enclosed space that you've been in and come out. And like I said, there's a strength here, which is connected to your mission, which is asking you to come out from behind, you know, I don't know, a content, you know, out of the cube, right? Or come out of your office <laughs> and, and, um, I just noticed one of my cats just walked in. I'm sorry. Uh, I saw the door open. Um, so that's what I'm kind of getting from, uh, this, the, what you've already come into. So again, that this card here, this third card, is connected to what you've already learned or what you've already overcome, right? So you, you know, you've been a, you've learned how to take care of yourself uh, in the past, and so if this is an area that you may not even realize that this is uh, a, something that you and you have inside of you, that this is part of who you are, that you came into the world. This may, you may not have even recognized this yet, but you do have it. All right, so the next card is, what is a major obstacle hindering you? So, oh, wow. Okay, that was quick. And look at that. So a major obstacle that's hindering you. Hmm. So, so the, I'm picking up a few things, right? So a major obstacle. So remember when I said that part of your soul's mission is that you're supposed to be completing something that you've started in previous lives. It could be too uh, that you're figuring out how to use all of the elements uh, to become more of a master of manifestation in this area of your life. So th that could be, right? What I'm also getting from the magician card too is and I'm just trying to figure out how to say this. Because the Magician card is definitely a manifestation card. But I'm also picking up, and again, this is the obstacle, right? Um, you are, we're all unique people. I just want to, we, we're all different. We all have, I mean, we're all unique, but we're all kind of the same at the same time. But... For you, you have your obstacle is that you are not comfortable in your uniqueness. Whatever there is something uniquely peculiar about you, if that makes any sense. And because of that, uh, that the fact that you are so different from many of the people around you, you kind of want to stay, you, you want to kind of blend in. Like what's that, that book, um, where's, oh my gosh, I, I, it must be because it's so late. Um, you know what I'm talking about, where you open up the book and you have to find the man or the, the person that's in there. Finding, find, I know somebody knows out there and I know it's probably gonna come to me when this reading is over. But what's hindering you is what is different about you is actually going to be what will help you complete whatever your mission is. 
right? Whatever the theme is that I just talked about here, that uniqueness, you accepting and actually what is unique about you is what's going to absolutely help you complete this mission. So this isn't just about manifestation, but I'm picking up the uniqueness of, of whoever you are. All right. And the next card, uh, how can you overcome it? How can you overcome what's hindering you? How can you, okay, become comfortable in your skin so that you can complete this mission? Look how this came up in another reading, but in a different spot. How are you going to be able to overcome the obstacles? So I'm picking up work ethic, um, this is very interesting because this is i can see how this is connected so when i look at the queen of pentacles queen of pentacles so we're talking about qualities of capricorn virgo um oh my gosh i'm like having taurus <laughs> those are the earthly signs and those qualities right um and those are people who are how could I say? Um, there's a confidence of some sort of with these, you know, with people, with these qualities. I'm not saying that you have to be that, those signs. I'm just looking at um, the qualities that are embedded in the sign, if that makes any sense. Um, what's going to help you overcome this is figuring out how to be comfortable in your own skin. How to be comfortable in your own skin so that you can complete this mission, which I really do believe uh, is associated with people, with like something that's global in nature. So if you work in an organization, it may have to do with, I'm, I'm thinking systems here. So you may oversee whatever it is you oversee. You could oversee a department. You could oversee, um, maybe it could even, although I don't think it has to do with the fam, although it could be having to do with the family. Um, but you learning how to feel grounded in who you are, if that makes any sense, so that you can be out there in the world in the way that you need to show up in the world. I'm getting that you need to be out there and not behind the scenes like in this card here where you kind of working by yourself. That is not what you're supposed to be doing in this particular life you are being called to bring people together. And in order for you to do that, you have to come out of your comfort zone, right? I'll give you an example of what I mean um, from my own life. Uh, so, and, and actually from my daughter's life as well, I'll, I'll share both stories. Um, the first is about me. So when the pandemic began and I, you know, I, at, when the pandemic began, I just, as a matter of fact, right before the pandemic started, I had transitioned from one job to another. And when the pandemic hit, I had to work from home. And I'm going to tell you I absolutely love working from home. I know not everybody does, but I love it. I'm, you know, I get to work on my own. I can make up my own schedule, of course. And I was teaching, so I did have to meet my class at designated times online. But for the most part, I mean, I didn't have to worry about hopping in the car. 
although I did, I, I will say that I did continue with my ritual of, you know, I got up at a certain time, I showered, I, you know, I had breakfast, I did all of those other things that people do. I, I kind of kept to a schedule, but I loved, you know, I loved not having, I mean, I was being social, obviously, because I had to meet with my class, but I liked kind of working on my own. Um, so there were some times as we got, you know, as we got closer to where we could go back on campus, uh, I believe I had, I can't even remember if I had one class where we did meet together and then I had another class where I was still streaming, uh, I was still meeting with them online. But every time I met with my class in person or every time I met with people in person, period, whether it be on some community work I was doing or a project I was working on and I had to meet people in person, I always knew that I had to, that even though my comfort was in isolation to some point, but I knew that I flourished and not only did I flourish and not only did I feel good and satisfied, but I also helped other people feel good. And it's, it's very important that as much as I want to be the hermit at times, and I'm comfortable in being the hermit, my satisfaction and my happiness is when I am engaged with people out in public. Does that make sense? It might be where I may not be as comfortable, you know, I'm okay with, and like I said, I'm okay. Like I'm very perform, you know, I can perform now. Not, and when I say perform, I don't want it to seem like I'm being fake. That is not what I'm saying. But there is a performance aspect to teaching. Um, and in any job, really, even if you're, I mean, I've been in leadership as well, management position. And uh, that, you know, there is a performative aspect to the work. But again, it has to do with where you're most comfortable, right? So I don't mind being on stage. It's almost like p famous people, right? Like I'm just gonna pick up Michael Jackson, right? As shy as he was, but look at how he performed on stage, right? But if you got him in a one-on-one, -on -one, it's like, or you got, I mean, do you know what I'm, I'm not saying I'm exactly that way, but it's just an example. Give you another example. I had considered seriously at one time to homeschool my daughter. And um, I explored these homeschooling options, you know, connecting with groups when she was preschool age. She didn't go to preschool. I, I kept her and I had networks of people that had children and we all kind of, you know, we connected together and uh, did things together, spent time together and our children spent time together. But I had considered it at one point. And just to make a long story short, my daughter's been in public school ever since she was in kindergarten. But so she did, I did put her in school. But I remember I was having a conversation. I was at the, one of a metaphysical shop. And I remember this clearly in, in Arkansas, Eureka Springs, Arkansas. I was in this metaphysical shop and I have no idea how we got into this conversation, but I had mentioned something about homeschooling. And I said, you know, I said, I really did consider it, but I really do believe that, um, that I think my daughter will be better off if she's in school as opposed to homeschool. She really needs to be around people, not only because, you know, people say, well, you want them to have social skills. I mean, obviously you do, but it was deeper than that. And the lady I was talking to kind of said it. And she said, you know, she said, you know, your daughter isn't just on this planet for herself. She's here on this planet for other people and her light needs to be in those places. Like, and I just, you know, and I'm paraphrasing, but that's essentially what she said. And so I hope like what I'm saying here, I don't even know. I'm just telling you um, that this right here is what you already are comfortable with. 
and this is where you, this, this uniqueness about you, what makes you distinct is what's going to help you here, right? This is, this is where you are, it is time. What I'm getting to is when you begin, when you make your transition and you move on to your next assignment or whatever it is, down the road hopefully you will be in a position where you can transcend this role that you've been in and move on to do something else because you are at a place where you're about to complete this journey but you've got to be comfortable in in the way in which you're unique right um and being and again this card here represents how you can overcome these obstacles. And the way you overcome these obstacles is to, you know, to, 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 to kind of ground yourself uh, in this person that you are, in this skin that you live in, if that makes any sense to you whatsoever. Uh, I'm also getting leadership so what could help you maybe being in a leadership position when you're in a leadership position you can't be like this all the time you have to be out you got to get out there right um which so that is what i'm getting from this message here so i don't know if that makes any sense to any of you but that is what i'm picking up from this particular reading so now i want to consult the spirit animal cards which totem animal spirit animal will be most helpful in helping the people who chose this card complete their work so that they can like graduate and and because that's what i'm getting here and they can graduate and move on and they may even be able to start the new work here um so oh okay <laughs> Let's see. So this is the um, card before I turn it over. Um, that's the other thing that's coming up for me too. Uh, you may be able to complete some work that you've been doing over the whatever number of years, you know, number of lives you've had. You may even be able to begin the new mission in this lifetime. That is also very possible. I'm picking that up here as well. So let's see which spirit animal will help you achieve this oh look at this the lion so let's see what this says lion higher calling look at that yeah you have within you all the courage you need let go of the past and reclaim your majesty you will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. Look at that. So remember I said that there might be some leadership involved here, that your strength is conflict resolution, bringing people together, that there may be a community aspect. Cats are social creatures, although they're, there's a social aspect to them. And then there's also depending on which cat it is, they can also be very solid, the solitary live. But what I find what's interesting here is you being able to balance, being able to balance that autonomy, that independence with the community, right? What I think is very interesting here too is the lion here. So um, there might be a Leo person uh instrumental in your life but it says higher calling so what i'm getting from this here is the the cat or the feline uh what i would suggest that you do i'm picking up and you need and for those of you who got the bee totem you could do this too do a little research on the lion totem and just find out uh, what more do you need to know? Because if it's saying higher calling here, 
this is kind of connected here. You're about to finish work so that you can start something new. There may be something, you know, much bigger. Maybe, you know, I'm just, like I said, you're coming to a completion of whatever it is that you've been doing. So you may already be aware of this mission of yours, the soul mission. But there's something even greater that is in store for you to do once you complete it. And you've got the help to help you do it. So this lion spirit animal may be the force that will help you complete the mission um, so that you can start another one. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. This is a beautiful, beautiful, I mean, all the totems are beautiful. I, I got to read it again. You have within you all the courage you need. So remember I said you got to come from like wanting to be in this space of isolation and independence. Uh, that you need this courage. You have it. You have it. You have what you need. It's going to help you. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. Look at that. Your majesty right? This is what's going to help you achieve this. So like I said, um, you know, if you're in a leadership position, maybe this means that you need to assert yourself, whatever it is that you might be there. You might even, I don't know if you're ashamed of some aspect of yourself, but that can also be a hindrance to you moving forward as well. And so that's something that you're going to need to, that's something that you need to work on. Um, and again, and it may have something to do with your past. You, and not necessarily your past life, but even the past of this life. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. So people will be very instrumental. So as much as you want to be in isolation, you need to be with people. And make noble choices for your life and your tribe. So when I look at this justice card, remember I said that you would be instrumental in bringing people together, resolving conflicts. And I, I, I see that, you know, in this message here. So this is your reading. So if you pick the world card as your soul's mission, uh, giving, you, uh, a, uh, giving you information about the theme of your soul's mission, this is it. Uh, and again, if this is something that resonated with you in any kind of way, please click the subscribe button. As I mentioned in the uh, for, at the end of the other reading, I want to be able to uh, provide this gift of tarot and oracle reading for a lot of people out there, especially people who are just kind of drifting along and not sure what they're supposed to be doing in their lives or maybe you know, they might have everything on the surface and still, you know, feeling unsatisfied and not happy. And so hopefully if, you know, the more people subscribe, the more I can get the messages out to as many people as possible. And click on the bell if you want alerts whenever I post new readings. And as always, I invite you to also share your insights and share, you know, maybe you're a new tarot reader or even season. Tell me, what did you get from this? Maybe you're seeing something that I didn't see. And remember, it is possible for you to pick something else up and we both be right. <laughs> so I just want to throw that out. So it will not hurt my feelings at all if you say, you know what, I don't agree with you. Well, it doesn't even have to be, I don't agree with you. It could be, you know what? This is what I picked up from this card, which we can add to what you said, as opposed to, because again, this is a general reading for the collective. So I can't really be as specific and cover, you know, as much, I'm limited, right? So anyway, like I said, I invite you to share. Uh, so again, thank you for visiting Peace Lily Tarot. And I wish all of you a beautiful, whether day, night, afternoon, whatever time it happens to be, wherever you live, <laughs> bye now. Okay, so, did I put, I think I may have a, now I don't even remember. Did, is there a card under you, honey? I have my cat here, so. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna move this over here.
Okay, these cards. I love, I love, 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 love tarot. Love, love tarot. Okay, welcome to the third reading. Remember, this is a pick a card, but you know, there might be more than one card that attracted you. This one is the Emperor card. Wow, right? So let me shuffle, and this is the final reading. Again, this has to do with what is your soul's purpose? What is the mission? If you want more information about how I even came up with the idea for this reading, please go to the video about, you know, how to determine what is your life's purpose through, the, through astrology, um, which is laid the foundation for, or I should say, inspired me to want to do a reading like this. So, the Emperor card. So, I'm getting, I'm picking up a very masculine energy here. Uh, the World card, it's, the, this is what I find. In, so, the first card I was picking up more feminine energy, and it's funny, you see a man on a card, but don't be, remember, we all have masculine and feminine qualities. Every man and woman on this planet, every man, woman, uh, <coughs> uh, gender neutral, whatever, however you identify yourself as, we all have masculine and feminine aspects to us. Everybody does. And how they manifest is different, you know, from person to person, but we all have that. But this card here, I was picking up a lot of feminine energy. This card here, I was picking up like a, a balance of, of, like I got a sense of like all the elements at play here in this, um, in this card. But I'm picking up, I'm getting a lot of masculine energy. I'm also picking up root and sacral and even solar plexus uh, chakra energy um, symbolism in this card. But I'm picking up a lot of masculine energy and um, let's see what else. This person is on a chessboard and has a chess piece in his hand. Very interesting. So the theme that I'm picking up here is your life's mission has to do with something to do with navigation, strategy, um, I'm looking at big picture here. Uh, I'm also looking at, I'm getting, I'm picking up the word power in this card. I'm looking at, um, could be also, and again, since this is a general reading for the collective, this, some of what I'm saying may apply to some parts of that collective and other parts of the collective. So you might be resonating with some one part that I said, but not resonating with the other, and that's fine. Um, fatherly figure, I'm thinking of position, status, uh, problem solving of some sort. Your job is to solve a problem that, or problems that are 
very material in nature. So remember I said I'm thinking root chakra, sacral chakra, and solar plexus. So your job is to work out those, whatever your soul's mission is, it is related to those aspects of life. Um, and so that that's kind of what I'm picking up at the moment. So let's see what Tarot has to say. What is your strength? So whoever picked this card, so I just want to make sure. Uh, again, I have a template in the first card next to the theme card is representing. So what exactly is your strength? So those who picked this card, what, oh, what is your strength? Okay. Ooh, look at that. This is so, I, oh my gosh, I love when this happens. So you are a, a visionary. Your strength is that you are good at seeing the big picture. Look how you have the world in, you know, in your hand here. Well, this person has the world in their hand. Um, yeah, you are good at, you have a bird's eye view of situations and you're very, very good at it. You're, again, I mentioned strategy, right? So your life's mission is going to be involved with not only, um, and when I say visionary, so if visionary comes up, this also means, and like I said, even though this is not a quote unquote career reading, but what this indicates to me is that you either, you could already be, or you should be in a position like in an executive level, uh, like CEO, an entrepreneur, maybe the president of a business. Uh, but I am, I'm getting something even maybe military, you're overseeing large groups of people. Uh, it could be superintendent of a school district. It could be the chief medical officer of a hospital. I mean, I don't know. It could even be... Um, I, no, I, I'm going to stick to what I'm saying. I said originally, you are indeed a visionary here. Definitely a visionary, a strategist. Uh, so your life's mission is to really do something big um, in, in, in your life. But, I'm, but if, so what I'm saying is, if this is the case, this is North Node energy. This is North Node energy. That means your South Node. It'll be very interesting what comes up. And again, if you don't know what I'm saying regarding North and South Node, please listen to my video about life's purpose as it is expressed through astrology. Uh, and I explain it all there. That will make sense to you. But yeah, I, this is, wow. Definitely, this is, you are supposed to be doing big things. Um, it could also be, I'm picking this up too. You may have been, um, maybe in your pet, well, let's just see. Let's see what happened. I, I was about to say, you may have been also in your past life, and now of course this is something that's just being, you know, I'm, now I'm getting this from spirit, not the cards per se, but you may have been in a position where you were not, that you didn't have a lot of authority, you didn't have a lot of control, maybe you took a back seat in the background, in the shadows, uh, maybe, um, yeah, right? Uh, maybe you were a, a fatherly figure in the past, you know, and you were not really able to lead your family. I mean, this, like, I, because I'm, because I remember I'm saying this is root chakra, right? So root, sacral, solar plexus. So yeah, this may have a lot to do, definitely has to do with your work 
your actual physical earthly work in the world um, and, and definitely uh, in a leadership position. Okay, so the next card is what are lessons that you already learned or, or, or things that you, that you overcame already? So this has to do with South Node or lessons that you learned that you already up, came into the world coming in from your past life. Look at that. So lessons that you already learned from your past life. Yeah, this is interesting. This is very interesting. So, okay, this, this, I'm just, I picked, this is so specific. This is probably the most specific from any of the other readings that I did. Because I am picking up, so this could be military related. Um, in your past life, you may have been in the military, a warrior of some sort. Even though the sword card has more to do, it's the mental realm, right? But I am picking up just from this, I'm picking up that there, there definitely, you, you were in some physical combat and I'm getting that what you learn as a, and I think I mentioned military with this. I'm not quite sure, it, and it could be that you're, you're doing it again, right? But it could also mean that whatever skills uh, that you came into the world with from those past life experiences, you are gonna be able to apply in this, in this case here. Uh, sword cards are very much the mental realm, the air. We're talking the mental realm, so we're talking like the third eye, the crown, well, like third eye. So we're just talking about the top part. So we're talking, I'm just gonna go ahead and say the, maybe the third eye chakra um, could be your crown. But this card is indicating root, sacral, and solar plexus. And so it may be that whatever it is that you came into the world with, whatever environment, in which you, because it, because I'm getting the impression that you did some leading as well. Uh, you came into the world with the tools that you need to be able to do it. But the strategy you're going to be using in a in a different way, right? You're going to come down to earth, so to speak. Very similar to what I mentioned in the introductory video regarding you know, our, our North Node and our South Node, how I explained how my North Node is in Aquarius, my South Node is in Leo, and what I'm being called to do, or any of us with those nodes are being called to do, is to um, acknowledge that, you know, like acknowledge our uniqueness and, you know, we may have been in leadership positions at one time. Um, th it's very, very possible here. Um, and it could actually be the reverse. It could be that someone has, uh, you know, a south node in like the reverse of what, you know, a south node is in Aquarius and the North Node is in Leo, which, I mean, which looks more like that, you know, that I'm looking at here. But definitely there may have been some military association. Uh, it could also be that you lived in environments and during time periods where there was war and conflict. Um, but that 
you were able to see things from uh, up high, I guess. And so now you're more on the ground, but you still have that visionary aspect to you. I don't know if that makes any sense. That is what I'm picking up here as far as your lessons that you learned or that you overcame. Uh, that whatever lessons you learn from those experiences, that you'll be able to apply it, but in a new situation, if that makes sense. Um, the next card will represent, what is a major obstacle hindering you? What is a major obstacle hindering you? Okay. So what is keeping you from like rising to the occasion here? Because this is, you know. Oh. Hmm. I love the temperance card. What is hindering you here? This is very interesting because I'm seeing a lot of the colors in this card that's not in this card. Because this card is very heavy, laden with the sacral, not the sacral, yeah, the, the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus. Uh, is, okay, so this is probably where you're not the most comfortable in. You are, so this is interesting. These are the lessons you learn. So this is very similar to the, first reading, I believe, you are very comfortable, already comfortable in that mental realm, right? I'm getting the sense too, so I'll go back to the military. You may have been like a military officer and you may have been the person, I'm not saying that you didn't do hand-to-hand -hand combat or anything like that, but you had a bird's eye like you were at the very top and much of your work was done mentally if that makes any sense um and i think your job now is to figure out how to be comfortable in a role not saying because I'm, I'm still getting leadership in this role here but somehow you're needing to have experiences at the material earthly level uh, in order to complement and complete this visionary quality that you have. If that, I, right? So notice, like, notice the differences in the colors. So it's almost like, you know, there's an awful lot. I mean, look at the colors here versus here. Right. I mean, you can't, I mean, we're talking serious contrast, right? I'm getting heart and throat and third eye and crown chakra here, but I'm getting root and sacral and solar plexus colors here. So your job in this, like part of your mission is to come down to earth a little bit, if that makes any sense. If you are a leader in some kind of a leadership position, and this, and although I'm, I'm really thinking big here, but it could even be in your own family, it could be in the community, it could be, you know, uh, Let's say you're like, well, I'm a manager of a 7-Eleven, right? <laughs> okay, so what is it? What's the disconnect, I guess, for you? Temperance also means balance. Notice, look at the two cups, right? So I'm getting that there was a lot of mental living in the mental realm again this is this this came up in the other reading as well but you are going to be called to be at the ground level and that is not a place where you are comfortable in so it's almost like telling you know i'll give you an example 
Uber is a perfect example. I think it's Uber, if I'm not mistaken. I read somewhere that if you work in an executive management job in Uber, that I think every month or every quarter, or I don't know what it is, that they have to actually get in cars and be like drivers so that they don't lose sight of who they're serving and they don't lose sight of what the job entails. Does that make any sense? <laughs> that's what I'm getting with this. Like that is not, and there were people complaining, oh, that's not what I signed up for. I'm supposed to be a manager. I'm an executive. I'm not supposed to be driving cars. It's like uh, here in, it's, it's almost like um, the CEO or the regional manager you know, flipping burgers at McDonald's, just so that part of these chess moves, part of being a visionary is understanding systems. But, and I'm not saying this might not be what everybody in this, you know, that's not what everybody needs to do. Some people are in leadership positions and never have to do this because maybe they already learned that lesson in a past life. But in this case, that's what this person's gonna have to do. They're gonna have to come down to earth a little bit. Uh, but that doesn't mean, but I still am getting leadership here, but I'm getting, you gotta get your hands dirty. Just come right out and say it, right? Okay. Final card before the totem card. How can you overcome this? How can you overcome this? How can you find that balance um, oh, among all the chakras? Look at this. this is, look at the colors. Oh my God. This is hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. I'm just looking at this card. This is what is going to help you overcome. This is what's going to help. Yeah. It's, you're going to have to pick up and do some, some of the work is what I'm getting here. You're going to have to do some of the work. I find it I find it funny too that the colors are very similar to the colors over here. Look, look at, I'm just telling you, you're gonna have to do some of the work. I don't know how, but you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. And that is what's going to help you balance this out of it. So it'll make you a better leader. It'll make you a better problem solver. Uh, you are the visionary. You're, you're, you're the big picture person but you're being asked to do this. This could even be, and I just picked this up. If you are a father or a father figure, and maybe you'll be called to work at home and, and your partner will work outside the house while you do a little bit of time at home and taking up some of the responsibilities temporarily until you go maybe parental leave, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, that doesn't mean that you stop doing everything that you do, but, there, but for some reason it is necessary for you to get down into the dirt uh, to be a more effective big picture person leader, if that makes any sense to you whatsoever. But yeah, this is this is wonderful. It's so funny how the military just like popped out like so, you know, or anything that's associated with that, definitely in the past life. And I'm getting a lot of leadership, but you've been in that mental realm. Balance is going to be the key here. And because that's what's hindering you. You're not, you're so far off into the clouds, which look at that. You know, if you look at this, it's like the hand coming out of the cloud that you really need a lot of this. You don't have enough of that. 
experience in, in the lower chakra realm. You need, that's how you're going to have to balance it out by getting into the doing the work. All right, now for the animal totem. So which spirit animal is going to help us or help those of us who chose this theme for our soul's mission purpose? Which totem animal is going to help us accomplish this? Who is going to be there to help? Oh, okay. To help along the way. So that is the card that, so let's see. My cat Callie is, hello, honey. She is, um, anyway, she's giving me that look, right? Aha, polar bear, mystic. This should be interesting. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. Interesting. The polar bear is your totem. So my advice to you would be to do a little digging about the totem, the polar bear totem. Uh, and it's so funny because I said you're living in the clouds, right? <laughs> the mystic here. So this visionary, uh, Roll the strength too. The fact that you're a visionary means that you're able to tap into, and this makes sense to me, uh, visionaries are able to tap into a realm that helps them. They are the ones that are uh, the big idea people, right? Um, But you've also got what I think is interesting here. You carry the shaman within. So think about the role of a shaman. Think about who their audience is or the people who they help. They spend, even though they spend a lot of time alone, you know, going off on journeys and, you know, and I mean that figuratively and literally. But shamans are also embedded in communities and they're on the ground and they're embedded in with the people. And so that is very much aligned with what it is that you're being asked to do as part of your life's mission uh, that you need to, uh, so if you are a manager some of some sort, your job is to put yourself in the position of the people who direct report to you. If you are, I mean, I'm just giving examples because I don't want people to think that, well, I'm not in a leadership position. I'm not a manager. So, you know, this doesn't apply to me. But if you were drawn to this card, there is something about this reading that applies to you. Look at the polar bear, the polar bear totem has, a matter of fact, what I'm going to do after these readings, I am going to actually, I don't know a lot about the polar bear totem, um, and I would like to know. I'm, I'm going to do a little digging on that one, but I'm asking you to do the same thing because this spirit animal that's coming up is definitely, what I think is so funny too is, look at the color, right? <laughs> the colors here. I'm just, I've been very attracted to colors uh, anyway. Um, yeah, I see in this, in this card, a mixing. Like if I were to mix some of these colors together, I could see some of this. I, anyway, I don't even know if you see that. It's what I'm seeing. But this totem animal is gonna help you balance this out and bring it together. Um, 
trying to see if there's anything else that comes up for me in this reading. Yeah, that that is it. That is it. Uh, if this reading resonated with you, uh, each of these readings were very different, but there were some crossovers, but very distinct. Um, if this resonated with you, uh, click, I, I, I never even mentioned like, yes, please like this video, subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the more access I'll get to more people to, to help them. I don't get paid for these general readings, but I do want to give back because I have been helped tremendously by the other tarot readers that I follow on YouTube. And so this is my way of giving back to the community. I really feel very strongly about sharing these gifts with, with you. Uh, also, I invite you to share your comments. If this reading resonated with you, share how. If you are a new or seasoned tarot reader, Oracle reader, and you picked up other messages from these cards, please share. Remember, the mission of this channel is to read, teach, and learn tarot, and so we're all here to grow together. Uh, thank you so much for visiting this channel, and wherever you happen to be on this planet, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, I am sending all of you love and light, and I look forward to meeting you meeting with you again at the next reading. Bye now. Peace.